Hello everybody, my name is Johan and I'm one of the tour and expedition leaders at Wild Eye. Now, Uganda has become a very special place for me over the last few years, spending quite a number of those years growing up as a teenager and then also hosting our Best of Uganda safaris over the past couple of years. Now, if you haven't been to Uganda before, it is not known as the Pearl of Africa for no reason. It's a beautiful country, extremely diverse, friendly people and amazing experiences. Now, one of the main attractions in Uganda are the gorillas and also the chimpanzees, which form two of the major parts of our Best of Uganda itinerary. Now, you don't need to be super fit to do these, um, these tours, but it would be highly recommended to at least be walking or hiking fit for, for some of the treks. Now, to give you an idea of what our itinerary uh, revolves around, we'll start off with three days in uh, Kibali uh, National Park or Kibali Forest, where the focus is on the chimpanzees. Now, these creatures are incredibly busy, um, busy animals, and unlike the gorillas, you sort of spend a lot of your time following them as they move through the forest. Now, for me, one of the things that is really amazing about that is that you are right up, up close to them. There's no vehicle separating you from the animal. You're kind of almost living in the forest with them, if that makes sense. So you only spend an hour or so with them, but the guys make sure that it is a quality hour of viewing and photography. And it's fascinating just to see the, the behavior of these creatures. But from there, we'll spend a few days at Queen Elizabeth National Park where the focus is on tree climbing lions as well as some of the other wildlife that you would find on any other sort of normal safari. And then from there, we will spend four days in Burundi Forest where the focus will be on the gorillas. Now, we'll do three gorilla treks. And the reason for this being is because it's such an amazing experience, your first sort of trek or first hour that you spend with the gorillas I often encourage people just to look and enjoy the sort of beautiful animal that's in front of you. If you only go for one trek, you know, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself from a photographic and experience point of view. But then as you do more treks, by your second or third trek, you'll be comfortable with your surroundings. You'll understand the light that the forest or the lack of light that, that the forest has to offer. And you'll also understand more of the animal behavior. So, if Uganda is on your bucket list, I would highly, highly recommend it. It is unlike anything else in Africa. We have still got a few spots open in July this year. Get in touch with me and let's make it happen. You will not be disappointed.